Well, one of the emerging targets that's very interesting is a protein called EZH2, which is an epigenetic modifier protein that forms part of the so-called uh, polycomb complex 2. EZH2 was noticed to be of potential interest in DLBCL about uh, 10 or 11 years ago when a group from Holland showed that it was very highly expressed in these tumors, which also happens in solid tumors like prostate and breast cancer. And subsequently, it was also shown to be highly expressed in the cell of origin of DLBCLs, which are the germinal center B cells. Um, studies from uh, our group and others show that uh, ECH2 functions to suppress checkpoints that stop cells from dividing. And if you inhibited ECH2 in lymphoma cells, they couldn't proliferate anymore. Then, uh, shortly after that, it was shown that ECH2 is frequently mutated in the GCB type DLBCL tumors and also in follicular lymphomas. Approximately 30% of GCB type DLBCLs and almost 30% of patients with FL will have these mutations. And the mutations, rather than inactivate ECH2, these mutations actually supercharge it. So it actually is much more strong as an epigenetic modifier. And that strength translates into um, its ability to add three methyl groups to the tails of histone 3 lysine 27. And that leads to genes being repressed. And some of the key genes that it represses are proliferation checkpoint regulator genes, and also genes involved in the differentiation of B cells. So this supercharged EZH2 blocks the ability of germinal center B cells to differentiate, and it keeps them dividing which is essentially what lymphomas are. They're germinal center cells that just keep on dividing and fail to undergo their final differentiation stage.